Good evening. Welcome to my laboratory. Long time no see. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Milo wheel, the Mag Milo Howard Johnson magnet motor, and also about uh, testing free energy devices. Okay, here we go. What you're looking at there is the base assembly of uh, <clears throat> my replication of the Milo magnet motor. Here's a couple of support pillars. This is the central support for the bearing holder. You can see that. I think you can see there's nothing in there. Uh, that's the back side of it, or bottom. Okay. These are leveling screws. Just put that right there. This is the bearing holder. There's one of the bearings. Uh, we're not going to use that one right now because I'm showing the way that Milo had it set up at first with just a little stub axle there that goes in the top there. So we'll put that on there like that. Tighten down the little set screw to hold it in place. That. This is the disc. This is a quarter inch thick disc of uh, 6061 T6 aluminum plate. Uh, it was cut from an 18 inch square piece of uh, cheap that cost me uh, almost $60 Canadian. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. It's just under 18 inches across. It's uh, 17 and uh, 13 sixteenths across inches. <clears throat> and then one inch in from the periphery there are uh, these uh, 72 quarter inch holes uh, for mounting things. And uh, on the bottom side of it is uh, the little uh, stub adapter and the stub axle and the bottom bearing. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in place on there, like that, press it down, like so, okay, so it's just running on the one bearing, and uh, that wobble is uh, because of internal play in the bearing. Later on I'll have it on two shafts, uh, probably Monday, I'll put it on two shafts and run it through both bearings, and that'll eliminate most, if not all, of that wobble. Uh, I've mounted one little magnet. That's an Elmico uh, made in Britain uh, general purpose magnet. I've mounted it there. And to counterbalance its weight, I've mounted a stainless steel uh, screw. You can see that's stainless steel, it's not magnetic. That one is magnetic, but these are not. None of this other stuff is uh, magnetic out here. So this uh, just happens to weigh 35 grams, which is the same weight as that magnet, so it's balanced out. This is the top beam assembly here, and I'm going to put that in place on top like that, and secure it with uh, a couple plastic quarter twenties, like so. And as you can see, I've already mounted a stator magnet. This is a uh, little magnet from another Elmico U-magnet horseshoe magnet from General Tool Company, uh, like that. So what we've got here is the basic framework of the Milo uh, magnet wheel and the uh, rotor assembly with a couple of magnets on there. Okay, now Milo and other people have shown you uh, motors like this that supposedly run. And the way that they do it is they bring it to a starting position. We'll call this A. I have a little A mark right there. And then they let it go. And sure enough, look at that. It runs. Uh, when Milo did this, his only went a third of a turn before he stopped it. Um, look at that. I didn't push it. I just brought it to the position A. and. Uh, let it go. And it completed a full turn and then bounced back and now it's going back some distance. Okay. And uh, usually I call this position where it comes to rest, I call it B. And I've made a little mark there. And uh, if I release the wheel at that point, 
Oh, I forgot to show you that it's level, didn't I? Um, here's a little level. And there it is on the wheel. It's level this way. And uh, there it is on the wheel. It's level that way. So the wheel's level. Um, <clears throat> right. Okay, so let me do it again. Let's go here. We'll position it just like everybody else does at the beginning of their smart gate. And then we'll release it. And look, it runs. I do believe I've discovered magnet repulsion. Now all I have to do is stack another whole bunch of magnets on there. They'll all repulse, right? And it will uh, run uh, forever. And I'll uh, win the prize and get an interview with Sterling Allen and everything else. No way. I've been looking at Tinsel Koala's videos and I know how to test things. So that's what this little ball bearing pulley is for. I'll put the calibrated weight on here. I've made a groove in the periphery of the wheel and right here I've got a little hole and so I put the knock in the hole like that and I back up the wheel to that starting point B where I know it won't start by itself. I'll let the weight pull it around to A and then it should run, right? Just like it did before. Okay, so there I am at B and here I have a stopwatch. So I'm going to let it go when the weight hits the floor, I'm going to start the watch. And uh, obviously I've done this before. Okay, so the weight pulled the wheel around to the starting position A, and now the wheel is running on its own. And if it was actually running, you know, as a magnet motor, it would continue running and run for a while, wouldn't it? Uh, and to make a long story short, uh, I've done a bunch of runs like this. They run anywhere. The, the uh, shortest run was 119.53 seconds, and the longest run was 124.09 seconds. That's out of five runs. So the average in there, say 122 seconds. Call it 122 seconds. That's close enough. Okay? Great. So I've got a wheel that runs for 122 seconds. Now, what I want to do is actually perform a control experiment. So what I'm going to do is just take the stateless magnet off of it, like that. Put it aside. Okay, now, if it was running before, if the stator magnets, if the magnets were making it run before, the magnet's not making it run now, so it shouldn't run as long, should it? I mean, clearly, the magnet motor was working, just like all the other magnet motors we've seen working. So here we are, starting at B. Everything's the same now, except I've taken the stator magnet away. Okay? So we reset the stopwatch. and start it when it hits the floor. And there it goes, okay? And uh, to make a long story short, I'll just go ahead and cut to the chase here. In this configuration with no stator magnets, the uh, fastest rundown was 158.32 and the longest was 171.69. So between 158 and 171, five runs, call it uh, 165. 165 against 120, about. I really didn't think that it would make that much difference because magnetism is a conservative force, but clearly the presence of the stator magnet is, is causing, not helping, it's hurting, it's causing drag. Uh, it's, uh, the system is dissipating energy when the stator magnet is in place. And uh, people who are building magnet motors should really do a test like this uh, when they think that their magnet motors are running, uh, because they might not be. Thanks for watching.